All right, guys, some of you have seen the videos I made on rack head speed, and it seems to be helpful, which is great. Uh, you kind of get the idea of fist forward and letting that lag happen, and you know, you're able to get some rack head speed. But the, the question we ne I never really covered was how do you get better ahead it, you know, without just getting on the court, obviously, and hitting and timing, right? Well, some of it's strength, right? So, one thing I want to talk about is using a racket cover or a PVC pipe to do this, but I have kind of already talked about this just in general, but I want to put you in a position to make it really reinforce the lag, okay? So Dominic team has got a really big forehand, right? And you can see this in Zverev's forehand when he has time too, but the idea is these, these really good players, their racket is kind of pointed more forward, the top of the racket head is pointed more forward than it is back or to the side. So that's kind of what the position I would recommend you guys trying when you're doing this racket speed test. So what I would do is put my racket here where, I, where the butt of the racket's almost behind me and to, my, to the side of me, and then I go forward and really work on generating that pace. So you can see that this racket cover makes it a little bit harder to do. I'm gonna take it off so you can kind of see the idea other than watching the the pro videos, right? You can kind of see from here what I'm talking about is I'm just trying to get that racket to be more in front here. So then I can really work on that lag. Now this, in a regular setting, is not easy to do. <laughs> the timing is tough, but this can really work on getting your strength of your wrist and getting that speed down considerably. So you could also do that with PVC pipes. So I have two different sizes based on how strong or how much of a challenge I want, right? So if I have one that's a little lighter, you can keep holding it up for less tension, right? The idea, it's the same thing. I'm holding it here and then I'm going back and swinging through. So that allows me to really generate that pace with my wrists and my shoulders, right? And if you can get a little bit bigger one to make it harder, same idea. So I'm swinging through and really bringing my wrist locked here so I'm more forward with my racket, so to speak, and then I'm turning and going through it every time, all right? So you can still, you can even do that on the backhand where I'm over, I'm over shooting it a little bit forward and then I bring it back and whip through. So I'm not necessarily saying this is a good swing, so to speak, but I am saying that it will strengthen your wrist to go through the ball a lot faster, right? And then you can really swing at the ball. So try those out in that position specifically, and I bet you that'll help with your racket head speed and specifically even more the lag that you're probably looking for in your uh, ground stroke. So good luck.